Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and one event is returning to Northwest Arkansas to help raise funds for breast cancer research and support. Alquia and Ashley are here to shell, share some details. Hi, how are hey, you guys? Hi, hey, how are you? Good. Thank yeah. you so much for being here. Thank you. So first, can we just kind of talk about some statistics of breast cancer? So every two minutes, a woman is diagnosed with, uh, with breast cancer. So that's, if you think about that, that's one too many uh, minutes, right? Absolutely. Right. Um, and I don't know if you know this, but one in eight women um, actually uh, pass away, right, um, because of the disease. So we want to make sure that we're bringing awareness on breast cancer, right, to make sure right. that we are finding a cure, to make sure that these numbers do not go up. So. Yeah, yeah, that's great, mm -hmm. that's important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, how is Susan G. Coleman helping with funding and research? Oh, that's a great question. So we have what we call a uh, financial assistance program so okay. we can help those that need assistance um, with resources like getting a mammogram, mm -hmm. getting um, breast health information, those types of things. Uh, we use our funding also to do research um, so to make sure that we are doing the necessary things to find a cure for breast cancer. Um, in the state of Arkansas, we are doing some amazing work as far as like utilizing our services to provide services for our Arkansans. So that has been um, everything from financial assistance to getting transportation, paying utility bills, those types of things. Oh, wow. um, so that's where a lot of these dollars also go to. Yeah, that's good to mm -hmm. know. Yeah, to absolutely. Know. I had mm -hmm. no idea. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. Yep. Now, Ashley, you are actually a breast cancer survivor, correct? I am, mm -hmm. yes. Do you, can you share a little bit of your story with us? Sure. I was diagnosed in 2018. Um, I was a single mom, three kids. Um, my mother actually had passed away from brain cancer a couple oh. years prior. So all my kids knew about cancer was mm. that. Mm. Um, so super scary. Um, right. yeah. And I, I went through chemo and radiation and had a mastectomy, all the things, all, all the boxes were checked. Um, my scans are all clear now, everything's good. Um, but That's yes, great. thank you. But there's so many resources out there. Mm -hmm. um, I was lucky. I mean, I had lots of family and friends that helped me at the time, but there's so many resources. I, I, I still go to um, support groups, different support groups, um, just for just to help other women yeah, through sure. this process. But Do you have any advice for those who might be struggling through it right now? It, well, that support groups are huge. Um, I, I mean, anything you can find, most hospitals and doctors have resources where you can go to support groups, um, organizations like mm -hmm. this. We we just moved to the area a few months ago and um, I contacted Alquia and um, just to get involved with their organization. It mm -hmm. helps talking to other women and helping them through things that you've been through. That's huge. Yeah. I mean, you just moved here mm -hmm. and said, hey, I want to reach out. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, kudos to you. Yeah, That's amazing. You. And is that because Susan G. Komen kind of has a name and a recognizable name yes. all yes. over the place? Yes, they do, mm -hmm. they do. and. Um, we were, um, my husband and I were very involved back where we came from, so we, yeah. we knew a lot about Susan G. Komen and what they stand for, so yeah. that was important mm -hmm. to us. Speaking mm -hmm. of, when we think of Susan G. Komen here in Northwest Arkansas, we think of the More Than Pink Walk, which is yes. coming up very soon. Can you give us some details on that Absolutely. One? It will be on Saturday, October the 26th at Crystal Bridges. Um, it will be a mile-long walk, and again, this is just an opportunity for us to raise awareness in the breast uh, the breast uh, cancer community mm -hmm. um, to raise funds. So there is still time for people to go ahead and sign up and, and form teams and raise dollars uh, for such a cause and be a part of uh, what we're doing. That's great. Yep. What about in the future? Uh, other opportunities for us to get involved, stay involved with Susan G. Komen here? Absolutely. There, are, um, We will have our VIP event um, that will be happening in March. Okay. Um, but there's also volunteer opportunities sure. that people can just go on our website, sign up. I'm always looking for volunteers here in the area. Um, and that can definitely make sure you're getting um, actively engaged and involved. So your website's the best place to send It folks. is. It is. Yeah. That's great. Thank you both for joining us. Yes, Thanks for sharing thank you. your story. Yes, thank you so much. Hey, and fingers crossed for some great weather. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, no, it's going to be good. It's, it's going to be good. Yes. We're going to manifest. No, we go, it's manifesting good weather. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you can see some details of the event right there on your screen. Thank you both again. Yes, for thank you so us. much.